Am I on? All right. You're on. Later, we're on part two. It says start, restart the timer. Okay. And um, try to hit it more around 12 if you think of it. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. On. All right. Did you, everyone agree? Allie got it right. So uh, work accordingly. Brandon, do you have any questions on those? I know you didn't get to read them and think them through yet. But uh, so we were talking about. Uh, I mean, she wanted me to just. She was talking about 83, and she chose the lower one as the median because it doesn't change very much with extreme uh, skewedness to the right, and the. Um, the mean does change, so that's to the right, and so therefore she chose the larger number. All right, over to you then. We had to, is this the, uh, the icky one, 87? Yeah, this is the icky one. All right, Julia, just tell me what your thinking is so far. So we have this chart, and it's rating how many uh, had a domain name length of two, then three, then four, then five, then six. And it said estimate the mean and median. So there is a, quite a bit of estimation there. Because you to get the, um, let's go for the median first. <laughs> we want to know how many, how many were in the whole group, how many responses. If you look up in the top, it tells you how many. 500? There's 500. So the median is going to be between what two numbers? What's half of 500? 250. All right, so we're going to be between the 250 and the 251st to so look for the median. So how do we count this? So with your eyeball, does it look like the first bar is about 10 high? Yeah. You think so? Julia, do you think the first bar looks about 10 high? Yeah. All right. What What would you say, just with your eye, how far, how high would the second bar be? About 40. 40. So if you add 10 and 40, give me a running total. We're up to, to the 50th uh, uh, observation. So say the next one's a little higher, so say 41. So if you would add 50 and 41. So we're up to the 91st observation. Um, 91 and 58, I said 58 was the next bar. It could be different than me, your eye might have seen, and these might not be exact. So 91 and 58, could you get that, Julia? Um, 149. All right, we're almost there, 149. Oh, no we're not, we're going to 250. All right, what's the next bar? 58. Mm -hmm. Hundred? It's more than one hundred. It's a little less. I'd say one hundred and seven. One hundred seven. Okay. <laughs> All right. So one forty nine, Julia. I'm one oh seven. Two fifty six. All right. Two fifty six. So somewhere within that bar, we hit two fifty to two fifty one. Do you agree? So mm -hmm. that must be the mode bar, and that is above which number? It's above six. Is that above six? All right, so we're going to say that the median is six. How would we continue in that way, or how would we, um, Bill, explain how we would do the mean on that graph? Um, I estimated the numbers on the right, I mean on the left. Okay, like what yeah, so for each bar. And then I multiplied it by the number at the bottom, right. and then I added them all together. Right, and so it's a big pain. 500. I put a star about it, big pain. <laughs> so we took this number, 10, and multiplied it by how many, um, the length of the domain name. So, uh, so she did 10 times 3 plus 40 times, was it go right up to 4? Yeah, no, 10 times 2 it was. 10 times 2 and 40 times, plus 40 times 3, plus 41 times 4, and so on. So if you were, if you fooled with it that long and did that whole thing, the answer was supposed to be, or I don't know what it was supposed to be, let's see. 
I think it was supposed to be 7.1. Yeah, it was supposed to be what? According to the math, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like 7.1. I did all this yeah, long. Yeah, 7.01. I'm sorry? The back said it's supposed to be 7.01. 7.01, all that? Yeah. All right, divided by, so then once you get 10 times 2 plus 40 times 3 plus 41 times 4 plus 58 times 5 plus 107 times 6, and on down the whole thing and divide by what, Allie? What would you divide 500. by? 500. The book says you get 7.01. I got... I got 6.99. Yeah, 6.75. Yeah, 6.96. Oh, that's interesting. Two eyeballs that were close no, I did, together. I got two okay. All right. So, if um, <laughs> so, somewhere around 7.01. So the median was six. The average or the mean was. 7.01. So they were pretty close, but once again, the mean is pulled to the right. All right, Julia, do you see why that one was a big pain? Yeah. If you wanted to argue that shorter domain names were more popular, would you pick the center to be the mean or the median? You're going to pick the one that's shorter, so you're going to pick the median if you wanted to argue. That's why it's a little bit ambiguous up to this point when I said describe the center. You kind of get a choice of what center you want to make your point in certain cases, unless I ask for all three, mean, media, and mode. Yeah. And if you ask what's the most popular, would, yeah, wouldn't the mode be just like whatever most popular? The mode would be the most often used, yeah. So yeah. That would be a pretty simple answer. Yeah, that simple. would be. As yeah. far as talking if about If I gave what? you the choice, go for mode. It's always the easiest. All right, it's the highest bar. So, all right, was that the last one I signed? I think so. Yeah. All right. Well, oh, never so mind. There was one more, but it was. Um, I no, I was just going to say B, but we but talked we about that without saying yeah. number of B's answers. All right. Papers, papers, papers. Give me your paper, Elena. Um, wait, I have more questions about B. Uh, you said that it was the mean? Is what? It's for Remember what? And then Caleb said the opposite, and I don't know. He said the mode. He said the mode. So, so if you wanted to argue that shorter domains were more popular, we're going to pick our shorter result. Our, our median was six. And our mean was seven, so okay. we're gonna pick the median. Get it? What are you guys doing? Oh, I'm just sending her a message of sadness. <laughs> <laughs> well, you picked the right moment. Well, I'm clicking. Collecting. Yep. All right, Brandon, did that? Did you get some answers oh, now? Yes. Okay. All right, so that'll help you on your catch up. All right. So. Let's catch up. I like how we have a piece He's of paper for the day. All right. We were looking at a five number summary. Could you check your notes or the, your brain and tell me what those five numbers were for any data set? Brandon, you can jump in now. We looked at data sets and we found that a five number summary was often helpful. Do you recall, Brandon, what those five numbers were? Can you find something like that in your notes from yesterday? Those should be there, it, or maybe you Probably remember them. them. It was like, um, I know it had to do with like, it was, it was um, minimum, median, and maximum. Right, so and he's then, got the big three. He said the minimum, the maximum, and the one in the middle. And then we added two more, the median of the first half we'll and the median of the second half. And what were the? The best quartile and right. the third quartile. Right, first and third quartile. So, that's where we're going to pick up today then. And if we would take the same data that we had on the board, and I just erased it, I'm not writing it back up, but is it the one on your handout? Let me look at my number six. Or do I want to go on the seven? I think we covered everything pretty much. 
one six. Yay, Number seven. Well, let's go ahead and while we're on six, see on the topic on six. Um, add um, add up there box plot because I will we will make a, a quick box plot of the information. Uh, we're going to do the box plot of the information about the New York State uh, travel times. So if you would add to topic, it didn't show up, topic got cut off, but you were you put topics here, add box plot. It will also be on day seven work as well. So we're going to find the interquartile. We started just talking about that briefly. And then I will teach you how to tell if a number is a true outlier. There's no more guessing about these things. All right, let's make a box plot for the data without me rewriting the data. Uh, Kayla, what's the, the lowest number in that list of times for drivers in New York? Is that the, the um, stem plot? Uh, yeah, you can get it from there. OK, uh, five. All right. So the lowest is five. So I'm just going to take a note so I know how to set up my scale. What's the highest? Also, Kayla? 85. All right. So that tells me my, my plot has to go from five to 85. I think I'll go by fives and just write down the tens and the twenties like this. So begin making a box plot of that information, even if you have to go on the back. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Is it go over 80? Yeah, you said 85, so I'll go up to 90. So your box plot has to include the lowest and highest amount on the scale below, the horizontal scale. So now we're going to put in the dot for the lowest, which it said was five. And I'll wait for you to catch up. Drawing, catch up. How are we doing for time now? Uh, three seconds. Oh, you started no, all started. over already? No, 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 three seconds, and uh, okay. now we need to start a new one. Okay, go. <laughs> all right, on to part